a small town that nestles up on the Chesapeake Bay and was once the home of Vivian Garrett. The answer is still unclear. One year ago today, Garrett vanished, baffling family members and both local and state police. She said nothing to her children or her husband. Friends say she didn't seem unhappy or panicked. In the media circus that followed in the wake of the investigation, reporters never uncovered a secret lover or a desire to leave her family. But no conclusive physical evidence was ever found. The investigation began on January 4th of the previous year, when a family member alerted police that Garrett had not been seen for three days. Her car, a blue 2005 Nissan Altima, was found abandoned in Willow Creek Park two days later. The disappearance was considered suspicious, since Garrett was said to be a dedicated mother to her four children and had no history of erratic behavior. The woman's husband, biology professor Robert Garrett, was originally arrested a month after her disappearance after a breakdown in his office. In statements to the police, he declared that his wife was gone for good and would never come back. Although Mr. Garrett's responses were often muddled and contradictory, he was released without charge. Abbott's Landing police declined to respond to questions, saying, at this time, we have no information to add to the investigation. It's almost empty. I bet Merle ate them all. Ugh, no one's cleaned the microwave in ages. How do I let it get like this? If only he could remember to pay taxes on time. Last February, I came downstairs one morning and all the photos were gone from the fridge. The one of Merle eating ice cream on her first birthday. The one of all of us on Halloween five years back. The one of Mom and Crab as a puppy. Like they'd never been there. A family member alerted police that Garrett hadn't been seen in three days. Yeah. That was me. Mom kept an herb garden here. She might have been a terrible cook, but we always had fresh basil for our pasta. And fresh rosemary, and lavender, and mint. Bluebirds aren't very common, but one year we had a bluebird build her nest in our birdhouse. Lady bluebirds aren't blue all over, like the males. They're grayish-orange with little tips of blue on the wings, like gloves. This thing is so stuck it won't budge. I'll need something to oil the latch. WD-40, maybe? According to Greek myth, the sunflower was originally a woman who watched the sun god day in and day out until she turned into a flower. <sighs> well, whoever she is, she's losing her petals. Sometimes I wonder how rich you have to be to eat off your porcelain instead of just 
putting it in a glass cabinet. Gus needs new shoes every few months, it seems like. His feet are growing faster than dandelions. Hey, Dad. Oh, Lena. I didn't realize you'd come in here. What's going on? Do you know where the WD-40 is? WD-40? Why? The gate's stuck. It's been sticking for a while, but someone must have slammed it and gotten it jammed. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Huh. You could check the kitchen. It might be in there. Or in the hall closet upstairs. Although it wouldn't surprise me if Gus had it in his room for one of his experiments. Ah, good places to start the search. Thanks, Dad. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Oh, oh, before you go, have you seen my phone? I think I've, I've lost it yesterday. Isn't your spare office key still missing, too? Yes, it is, but... Wait, are you trying to say that I misplace things easily? That's exactly what I'm saying. Ah, huh. well, you may have a point. It's locked for a reason, Lena. That's my space. I haven't seen Dad sleep here for months. This bed might as well be a part of an Ikea ad for all the use it gets. All Dad really needs is a toothbrush and a razor. Imagination will often carry us to worlds that never were. But without it, we go nowhere. <laughs> That's one of Dad's favorite Sagan quotes. There it is! What's underneath the WD-40? Damn. I didn't know Dad kept a journal. Maybe there are more parts lying around. Hard at work in the pursuit of scientific discovery, huh? I'm being a forensic scientist. That means I solve crimes. <laughs> it's really cool. What else is up? Are you trying to talk to me about mom? How did you know? Logic. I already saw the article in the paper this morning. Dad's been even more distant than usual. And your voice is all funny. Like, you're not sure about something. And those three things make me think that you want to ask me about mom. <sighs> you're right. Sometimes you amaze me, Gus. Thanks. What did you want to ask? Specifically. Where do we go from here? I don't think we can fix all this. The hurt feelings, I mean. Without figuring out what happened. I never see Dad anymore. Bye's always angry, and you're so stressed. If we knew what happened, would it hurt as much? Fact. Her car disappeared and was found abandoned somewhere else. Fact, she was sad sometimes. 
Fact. She left for days at a time and would come back crying. Fact. After Dad, there haven't been any suspects. What I think... I think she killed herself. Don't say that. You 